So not really uh, the most formal question, but you've spoken out a lot about um, racial injustice um, and you're a big proponent of um, social justice and climate justice and action. And uh, I know you've spoken a little bit or shared a little bit on Instagram of things that you've done. Um, is there, are there any updates you want to share about th things that are going on that others can support or? Oh God, there's so much going on. Um, I, for me, I, know, I, I didn't know the best way to format that question. Yeah. No, it's cool. So. It's cool. No, I think that's like, I think, you know, there, first of all, I have to give like shouts to so many DJs out there who have really been using their platform to, um, to bring awareness to various issues, to raise money um, in terms of using their talents, to raise money for different causes. Um, I, you know, I definitely believe that people should be active in whatever way they feel is important. Um, I, de you know, I think people kind of get this, like, where do I be begin? I don't know. I don't know. First of all, just think about what's important to you. Uh, <laughs> I would imagine Black Lives should be important to you because mm -hmm. especially if you are somebody who appreciates um, culture um, and especially um, American culture because a lot of American culture is rooted in, um, in Black American culture. It's just what it is. Hip hop, jazz, um, art, like, it, clothing like just deal with it and fight me debate me whatever um, <laughs> this is what it is people don't know this either rock and roll is rock and roll black culture too exactly so there's that um uh if you have you know eyes in your face you know brain ears whatever you you are very well aware that the way that a law is applied towards um black people is different than with white people, especially if you are a white person and you've probably seen it yourself um, in terms of like how people that you may have known have been treated. So that should bother you to the extent that you go out and do something. And if you can't physically go out there and do something that you could be supporting um, in other ways, either financially, either sharing information, um, volunteering, um, various things. But if that's not necessarily your thing or if other issues drive you more, that's fine. I do still think that you should be, you are obligated, I think, as a human person to be, um, you know, assisting in any way you can to make the world a better place. Um, for me, it was like, I do it in terms of like the, the work that I do in my day job, but I also, you know, that to me, this is like a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, so I know, and I'm not, I'm not going to say that I'm not like this huge activist. I'm not, I haven't been out there as much as I'd like to be. Um, I have elderly parents that I take care of, so I cannot really be out. I mean, I've definitely been to protests, but I'm definitely not out there as much as I'd like to. I'd love to be out there like more working with mutual aid groups and, but that requ that's me, that requires me to be around more people. And I can't really like risk that because I have um, family members that I need to take care of. Mm -hmm. um, so I, for me, I've been, I have the means I'm still employed, so I donate. Um, I definitely share resources um, between friends because I know friends who do mutual aid work and I know friends who have um, access to certain things that mutual aid groups would like, such as food and, and other types of things. Um, so I think a, a lot of DJs, I think we kind of already have that sense of community. So people have just expanded that out um, to, to try to do some good. Um, and I think it's great. Um, so for me, it's just a matter of like, I'll share information as I can. I'm more active on Twitter when it comes to that kind of thing, just because a lot of times that's where I see these things. Um, so I do, you know, and I, I, do, I definitely like curate it because I, you know, again, because I like the work I do, a lot of my stuff is like based in New York City, New York City issues, politics, um, activism, just to kind of see like who's doing what, what's going on there. Um, so, I mean, for me, I think everyone should be um, doing something within, you know, I know not everyone can be out there in the streets and I know not everyone can open up their wallets, but you do have the capability to help in some way. Um, and not just, you know, griping on Twitter and Instagram, but actually maybe sharing information, sharing resources, um, reading, getting yourself educated, understanding the context of around everything that's happening because, you know, with this pandemic is just exposed a lot of the iniquities that have existed. And a lot of people are very shocked to see it because it's new to them. And unfortunately for somebody such as myself, who's been around on this earth for many decades, it's not new, um, it's not, you know? So, and honestly, I'm not 
happy that people are like awake to this now. I no, I nobody want. I don't want anyone to be here at all. Let you know, definitely not me, but definitely not others. So, um, you know, we need to definitely do something next week. If you haven't already, you could do mm -hmm. you know <laughs> fucking vote and you know again I would love to t fucking vote Trump out. I'm sorry, straight up. And voting Trump out does not mean that the shit's over. It's not, but at least we have we will have an administration that is more reasonable that we can do. We can try to change. Obviously, we have not been able to do anything under Trump, and mm -hmm. and I, by no means if Biden wins next week that I'm gonna like go to bed and thinking that everything will change because it's not. Right. Um, but at least we will not be under the fucking tyranny that we're in now. So it's a start. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's not. Yeah, I think somebody I read today because Internet's such a great place with these things where someone was like, you know, voting is like um, it's not like finding the one. It's like get it trying to get on. It's trying to get somewhere and that you might, you know, there's a bus and the bus may not take you where you need to go, but it might get you closer than you were. So we just have to get on that fucking bus and get uh, closer to that goal. But ultimately, we, you know, the very next day, if Biden, you know, once Biden's in office, we, I'm protesting that motherfucker too. We are not, we are still going to have to be out here fighting for our lives, um, mm -hmm. regardless of who's in office. But at least we are not going to have this motherfucker who is an idiot in office. <laughs> so there's that. Um, but yeah, I think it's, you know, I don't want to make it seem like I'm, uh, you know, that I'm like this big activist. I'm just not. Um, but I just, I just know that I'm just trying to do what I can and I don't want to, you know, so I don't judge people for not, and I don't want anyone to feel bad about not being out there or doing things because ultimately it's, it's just a pandemic. Um, emotionally people are wiped physically, financially. So, you know, ultimately I think everyone, it, everyone's objective should really be to stay safe and alive. And if you have the capacity to do more, do more. But definitely stay safe. <laughs> and definitely make sure you're staying safe to the extent that you're keeping others safe. So wear a mask mm -hmm. and, you know, do whatever you need to do to take care of you. Um, but again, if you have the means, you know, think about what's really important to you. Um, join up with people. If you do find people that you have, you know, have done, been doing the work, listen to them. Don't just think that you're going to like come in and start running shit. Like these people have been doing the work way longer than you. Mm -hmm. um, sit and listen. Um, yeah. That's for anyone, even, you know, even if you have that lived experience, because there are certain things that you just, I didn't know growing up why certain things were the way, I, you know, they were. I didn't know mm -hmm. why, you know, my, you know, my mom knew that when we were, she was trying to move that there were, you know, that the realtors wouldn't show her certain neighborhoods and she knew it was because it was racism, but she didn't know that was actually like a thing called redlining, you know? So, you know, we all know these things, but we just don't understand the history. Um, and even, you know, like when people say that they don't understand it, they don't get it. I don't find that to be an excuse because I didn't know it either. I didn't come out of my mom knowing all the things that were going to be, you know, I just didn't. And neither did she as somebody who came here from another country. Um, but I definitely educated myself and there are opportunities for all of us to do that. Um, so at the very least, educate yourself. But definitely, if you can do more, be out in these streets. Yeah, you said it a couple of times. I think education is the most important thing because I think the lack of education is what drives a lot of yeah it's what brought us here absolutely because nobody wants everyone thinks that america is so great and you know to a degree yes um mm -hmm. you know for somebody whose parents came from a place that was not was not safe for them at the time that they left it was great but at the same time that they you know you trade one set of problems for another and mm -hmm. i do know what our contributions have been to this country even as immigrants um even going back um as Haitian immigrants, um, Haiti fought alongside, you know, American, Americans during the Revolutionary War. Look it up. Go to Savannah. There's a whole monument about it. So, you know, and people don't know this. This isn't something that you learn in school. Um, so I, you know, and P, I think if we had that understanding, or if Americans in general had that understanding, we would not be treating people the way that we do. Couldn't agree more. You know, I, yeah, I mean, some ra racists are going to racist, but I do think that a lot of it is ignorance, and I think those who are ignorant would would see if if we taught in school what the what our actual impacts were, it would be a different game. 
I mean, a, a, a Haitian man founded Chicago. Like there's mm -hmm. just, you know, <laughs> I think about just like, you know, even just inventions um, right. <laughs> that originated with black people that people aren't aware of. And then you've got the motherfucker like Kushner out here acting as if like, we're just like that black people are like lazy and don't want and complain. <laughs> it's wild and he's so punchable. So yes. <laughs> he's been punchable. He was punchable before he became the fucking son-in-law in chief, and it's like even worse now. So yeah, I can go on and on, but um, please just do something, honestly, like whatever you can. Mm -hmm. I think it's a fair call to arms in so many words. Um, Tara, thank you so much for your time. Is there anything else that you want to add? Um, nothing. Again, Twitch for real, especially if, if not me, other DJs. Um, I mean, start following me is a good starting point because I can like we always we shout out each other. Um, DJ Lindsay, if you want to just follow these folks on Instagram as well, because they'll also um, have their information. NYC Dope, um, DJ Lowkey, DJ Ageless. I believe his life is Life of Ageless on Instagram. Um, but we all shout each other out. Um, definitely support um, your local creatives if you can, your local spaces if you can. I don't, I'm not about going into a restaurant, but I'll definitely like order some shit to go. And yeah, you can also buy a gift card. <laughs> buy a gift card, yeah. I mean, do again, what you can. Not all of us, I mean, some people are definitely, are just not working right now. You don't have the means, that's cool. Please do not go into debt trying to save someone else. Right. You know, if you have the means and you are comfortable with, you know, s supporting local folks who are still trying and still out here creating despite all of this madness, you know, please do what you can and yeah with that i actually might just go on twitch just for a little bit because oh yeah after party yeah well, after party. <laughs> uh the let out it's the let out but yeah just because i had already set it up and I, it's gonna be a very lazy stream so like i'm literally probably just gonna sit here and play that's which fine even for some people to have some late night too uh, why not you know a little lullaby so if you guys want to check yeah. me out it's tara nyc just like it is on twitter i mean on instagram so you don't even know what platform i'm on that's fine all of them <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much again like oh, i thank you. rare that i get interviewed or anything so and i can talk forever so maybe that's why <laughs> so thank I, you so much i love people that talk forever <laughs> 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 thanks so much Cheryl. i'll talk to you soon all right thanks Have bye. A good night. bye